So this, this class in a, in a college would take months. We're putting together a book, two books actually. We're taking all of these papers and all of the things we've done over the years and we're going to put them in a book and it's just called hints and clues for playing you know instruments and music we're also doing a registration book for organs um it's called uh, an emergency kit for organs and it's for all the rolling organs and that will be done next week so uh we're pretty excited about that one and so it, just things on how to save your songs to a disc how to record songs how to do things so uh, and then we're going to do the Clavinova one next. All right, so I'm going to teach you today key signatures and scales. And it sounds ominous and it sounds, you know, but it's really easy. And once you figure it out, it, it, everything starts to get clearer. Now, there's, if you've ever seen a scale sheet, it's just this massive piece of paper with 15 scales on it. And that's how I learned. My teacher sat me down and every month I had to learn a new scale. Over and over and over. And after about a year I knew all the major scales. Then I had to learn the minor scales. And there's three different kinds. Okay, and then and I'm going, why do I even know all of these? See, she neglected to tell me what I was going to do with them. All I knew that at the beginning of each song there was a bunch of sharps and flats and I had to remember to sharp or flat them. All right, and I knew I didn't like sharps. I liked flats better than sharps. Okay, so scales are the basis for music. They're based on tones, okay? In college, they call them semitones. Means half steps. Semitones and half steps, okay? So the rule for, how many notes in a scale, by the way? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They compose an octave. Octave means oct means eight. All right. So from C to C is an octave. A C scale, and you probably, if you've seen the sound of music, you heard right. Now you can tell if the scale is right or wrong, can't you? And now in the old days, they called it Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. Do was always the first note. Didn't matter what it was, they just, okay? So listen, I'm going to play a scale. You tell me if it's right or wrong. Okay, sorry. Sounds good to me. Yeah. How about this one? Yeah. Uh, the little alarm goes off. Eh, no, that was wrong. How about this one? Okay, 
So here's the rule. It's so simple. The rule is two and a half and three and a half. Done. Now, I want you to think, empty your brain out, all the knowledge you have. Don't even think of anything else. And I want you to just remember this. Between the first and second step of a scale is always a whole step. Between the second and the third step of the scale is always a whole step. Third and fourth is a half. Fourth and fifth is a whole, 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 half. Two and a half, three and a half. Okay? Eight notes in the scale, how many fingers do I have? Five. Five. All right, how many do I need to grow to play eight notes? Three. 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 Okay, so I start here. Finger one, two, and three. One, two, three. Where the half step is, is where your thumb goes under. I'll say it again. Where the half step is, is when your thumb goes under. The rest is easy. So you go one, two, three. Then you take your thumb under at the half step. One, two, three, four. And if you're lucky, you'll end up on finger five with a half step. You don't even have to remember this one because that note is the same as this one. <clears throat> right? If you don't end on C, it's going to be very obvious if you're, if you're playing a C scale. Okay? So one, two, three, thumb under at the half step, and then use them all up. Okay? So one, two, three, and that's, see, that the, the, when I teach this, most people forget where the half step goes. The alarm goes off when your third finger goes down. Okay? One, two, three, thumb under, and then lay your hand out, whole, 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 and you should have, be on a half. So look, and now I don't have to memorize any dumb scale. All I have to do is put my finger on a, on a note, like here's D, right? What's the next note, whole or half step? Whole, next? No, I don't do half till I play this finger. So a whole step, that's only a half, right? Isn't that a half step? I need this sh to be sharp then. Now from that note, I take my thumb under on half, whole, whole, I need a whole step. Is it this note? No. No, nope, it is there. that note, and then a half. Da, 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 da. Now, because of the way the keyboard is arranged, is the reason that there's sharps and flats and scales. Because of these stupid spaces that are there, it makes me have to sharp and flat certain notes, right? It, it really isn't the keyboard that determined that. What determined it? The crazy person that created the keyboard. God. I think God did it. <laughs> okay, not the keyboard because saxophone players have to do it, and oboe players and trombone players. It's not the design of the keyboard. It's math. It's the mathematicians that did it. It's the tones that the song, it's the tones and how far apart they are. Okay, so, and I don't have a clue who did it. I don't really know if anybody knows. If out there in internet land, if you know who invented music and all this theory, then you let me know because not one book that I've ever seen puts a, one name to it. So I think that's why God just did it. There's 15 scales. There's only, how many tones are there in music? Oh, come on. That's, I've asked you that question a hundred times. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve tones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's it. But there's 15 scales. How come? Flats. Well, right. The F sharp and the G flat scale are the same. The C flat and the B are the same. And the, oh, what's the other one? Oh, C sharp and D flat. Those, they're just duplicates. But, th so there's 15 <coughs> scales you have to know. Okay? Now, from these scales, because of the patterns, this, the scales are formed from them. So, I'm where do I want to go here? Okay. So tell me why you need to know, give me
me one reason why you need to know scales. Why do I need to do this on every key? Why do I need to know? Transpose. To transpose, to change from one key to another. And why do you need to do that? Because you've got a dumb singer that can't sing in the key that the song was written in. No. But now I'll get some more comments from dumb singers. <laughs>